This is question 12 from a series of videos taking a look at the Edexcel practice papers. Here we're asked to write 4 over x plus 2 plus 3 over x minus 2 as a single fraction in its simplest form. So what we know about fractions and adding fractions is that in order to add them, we must have the denominators the same. And what we can see here is that we don't have that at the moment. We've got x plus 2 for one denominator and x minus 2 as the other denominator. So what we're going to do here is we are going to cross multiply. That means taking the denominator from one of the fractions and multiplying it by the other fraction. So we're going to take x minus 2 and multiplying it by 4 over x plus 2. We then do the same thing to the other fraction. So take x plus 2 and multiply it by 3 over x minus 2. So doing this, we get 4 bracket x minus 2 over uh, x plus 2 times x minus 2. So we've just multiplied that entire first fraction by x minus 2. Then what we're going to do is exactly the same but with our other fraction. So we're now just going to take x plus 2 and multiply it by 3 over x minus 2. So that gives us 3 bracket x plus 2 over x plus 2 x minus 2. Then all that we're going to do now we've done this is we can now write it over a single denominator. The denominator is now the same so we can say that this is 4 bracket x minus 2 plus 3 bracket x plus 2 and that's all over the common denominator x plus 2 x minus 2 Now the final thing that we're just going to do is we're just going to multiply out this bit on the top because there's a little clue here. It says as a single fraction in its simplest form, which means that we might be able to do some cancelling out. Now, in order to do that, I'm going to expand this part on the top. So what I can say is that this bit on the top is going to give me 4x minus 8. So I'm just going to write it over here. So 4x minus 8. And that part there, plus 3 times x, so plus 3x um, plus 6. So if I now collect that together, that gives me 7x minus 2. And actually what I can see here is that um, my final answer is actually just going to be 7x minus 2 over x plus 2, x minus 2. So sometimes, sometimes what happens there if we expand and simplify is that we spot that we could actually factorise that expression and that the, that the factor that could be in common with that simplified expression um, sorry, the factor of that simplified expression could be in common with one of the factors of the denominator, in which case we can cancel it out. Um, however, what we can see there is that 7x minus 2 won't factorise, and so we can just leave it as 7x minus 2 over x plus 2x minus 2.